Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. A lot of you have been asking me to do uh, videos on chisels and that's exactly what we're going to do today. In fact, we're going to do two uh, videos on chisels. When I was at the swap meet uh, uh, several weeks ago, I picked up, uh, I got a really good deal on some used chisels. Good quality chisels, but they need a little bit of work. So before we show you how to use them, we need to get them cleaned up and get them sharp. So there's the four chisels that I picked up and you can see that they come in various widths. Some of them, have, they're all sharp, but some of them are, they're not very square on the top and I'll show you in a second what that is. Uh, and some of them, the, the handles didn't fit properly, so I'm going to show you that as well, what, what the problem is there. So first of all, let's look at the top of this one. There's a close-up of that and you can see how far that chisel is off on the right hand side of that chisel. The other thing I wanted to show you is this one here, how this, and this is actually a mortising chisel, uh, a good chisel, but I want you to look closely at the end. It's actually mushroomed over just inside, and that's why this doesn't fit in here, is because it's mushroomed over inside there. In fact, it's actually sharp in there if I run my finger around. So what I'm going to need to do is take a file, a hand file, a round file, and file off the inside of that. And there, with a little bit of work, I've taken that mushroom, mushrooming off on the inside, and you can see I've taken a little bit off on the outside, and look at how the handle fits in there, and it even fits in there fairly tight. It's still the wrong handle. I may do a little bit of sanding to get that to fit there, but it still fits nice and snug. Here we are at my uh, friend Jack's, and this little blue thing in front of us is called a Tormek sharpener, and this is Jack's machine, and he even knows how to use it. So he's going to give us a demonstration today on another way of sharpening. You've seen me do some hand sharpening. This is some machine sharpening, and it does at least as good a job as the hand. It's, uh, it'll give just a razor sharp finish on it. So this is filling the, the is, what do they call this, the, the well? Tr the trough. The trough, yeah. okay, good. Now, if we switch it on a bit first to let the wheel soak up. It's interesting how the wheel floods with water and then the trough goes uh, down. down. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the process of making the wheel absolutely flat before you start grinding. And the slower you go, the smoother it is. So Jack has just taken a moment to um, set this up, and he's just tightening the chisel into that and getting the right angle on it. Sometimes with a chisel that's been abused, <laughs> it takes a little longer. Well, this is a little bit wider chisel too, so it'll take a little bit longer. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. There. Wow, it's looking great. Of course, that'll square it off then too. It, it, it does, yeah. This is chisel number two. So we're going to run through the gamut of these. We're not going to show everything on these. There's, there's what that machine has done. Now we're going to polish the end of that. Jack has just put a honing compound on the leather wheel side of this and that's what he's going to use to do the fine polishing and uh, you'll be able to see the difference. It gives it a mere finish. I know it's a bit hard to see the sharpness on video, but there you see what we've done. Jack, I want to thank you for 
taking the time and not only showing us how this Tormek machine works, but sharpening up my chisels for me. Yeah, so, so okay. thanks a lot. You're welcome. Good. <laughs> Well, and this concludes our video on cleaning up your chisels or setting up your chisels, however you want to call it. And thanks again to Jack for showing us how the Tormek works and another way of sharpening. Next time, we're going to look at the details of different kinds of chisels, where you use them, and how to properly use a chisel. It's a, a pretty important tool in the workshop. Even in this day of mechanization, uh, chisel is a pretty important tool. So I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thank you for watching.